It's interesting. I was just hearing, as I'm sure you guys might be hearing about this, Facebook and potential data breach and all that stuff. <clears throat> and obviously being involved with a tech startup, part of what we're doing is big data. So it's really, maybe, I don't know, it's disconcerting or makes you sort of acutely aware of how important it is to get it right and have the security sort of, I guess, processes in place and things like that. Because, you know, you are you have got a huge responsibility dealing with with people's data. So it's just very, pro, you know, very relevant, I think, for me right now in terms of, you know, building a tech business. Part of that is involved with big data and creating a bit of a sharing community. So, yeah, it makes me very sort of sort of ponder and think, oh God, do we, it's, it's now the right time. There's bad press, you know, soon to be going out there and pitching and talking about what we're going to be doing. Obviously, it's going to be at the forefront of people's minds. So, you know what, it's like it's like anything. There's never a good time to to do anything, start a business, to, to make that call, to make that decision, to move forward. And I think, you know, fundamentally, I think you just got to believe in what you're doing and... You know, there are always going to be hurdles. There are going to be unexpected events that are out of your control like this. You know, I mean, who would have predicted in my business plan to sort of imagine, OK, so what what outside factors could affect the launch of a tech startup, which is of a big data? You know, who would have thought? So, you know, who would have thought of Facebook in terms of being in the trouble they're in? You know, it's phenomenal. And, um, I mean, on that subject, I mean, geez, you know, could this be the end of Facebook? It's interesting, isn't it? Um, the reality is, I don't know. You don't know. You know. We could guess, we could assume, we can make an assumption. You know, my instinct is they'll find, you know, they'll find a solution and, and, and move forward. But who knows? In all honesty, you know, maybe this is... A point in time when we're looking back and go that's when things changed again so it could be a, a moment in history we're not really quite aware of as ever as these things always happen you know we don't realize the significance of them until after the event so you know maybe this is the end of Facebook um, maybe this is the end of big data as we know it without you know I mean there's no huge regulation on these social media companies so you know obviously there is regulation around data and things like that so I don't know it's really really interesting really really relevant for me right now in terms of being a tech startup and um, it's something for me to be acutely aware of and, and I've definitely taken a lot of interest in terms of what's happening on, on the news my, my feeling in terms of Facebook I think in, in all honesty I think I can't imagine it's not going to survive I can't imagine it won't fight its way through this there's too many incredible people behind that platform to not find a solution you know even if they have screwed up and even if they have ha haven't had the oversight of third party developers you know maybe they just need to put their hands up and say you know what we screwed up sorry guys um we're going to be really transparent in terms of our processes and these are the sort of steps we're going to take to to remedy it and fix it you know i don't know you know that's something for the executives of Facebook to figure out um, no doubt they're they're scrambling around trying to figure out what the what the issues are um, how significant it is whether they have got liability what, you know all that stuff they're going to be you know really on it I'm sure no doubt so yeah I hope they do pull through I hope they really do um, the reality is you know we don't know right now we, we you know and who knows I mean you look at the stock prices it just it's plummeted but um, who, who knows? I mean, in all honesty, you know, who, who saw the demise of other big companies, whether it's Toys R Us, back at, you know, when they're in the heyday? Could you ever imagine them shutting down? You know, um, could you imagine blockbusters? You know, there's some huge organisations, huge companies, really successful, that the market's changed and suddenly, you know, it, it, that doesn't exist. So... It mustn't be underestimated, the potential risk that Facebook faces, no doubt about it. But I honestly hope it does carry on. I think it's a fantastic platform. It's a free platform. It gives us, you know, people like me, opportunity to 
um, <clears throat> I guess, get out there more, um, you know, increase your, your personal profile or, or market yourself or, you know, it, it, it creates a huge opportunity for so many people um, and on a personal level it helps people connect with their friends and their family and things like that, which is which is massively important and, and, and fantastic. So, you know, we've got to remember it's a free platform. Um, so it's done a huge amount of good and it, it's an incredible, incredible thing that it is. But um, let's not underestimate the risk it's under, that's for sure. Um, but as a, in terms of social media marketing, I think one thing is always worth considering is never to assume that one platform is the only platform to be on. And if you're a business, I think you can't assume that you know, Twitter's always going to be here or Facebook's always going to be here or you know YouTube's always going to be here. There might, you know, there's there's you know new platforms and new social media companies popping up left, right and centre all the time. So I think it's important to keep an eye on what's coming and never assume that what you're doing really well now will carry on. You know, whether an algorithm has enabled you to achieve great things on a certain platform which has given you a huge profile, you know, don't assume that's going to carry on. I think that's really, really important because, you know, you can get, you know, I know people who are just on Twitter, for example, and yet Twitter now is, is getting less popular, which is interesting. Things like Instagram is getting much bigger. But again, we can't assume that's going to be forever. So I think as anybody who's in the social media marketing world, you know, you, you need to be on it in terms of all of the platforms, keep an eye out for future platforms and being prepared to move and pivot. So just a few thoughts from me in terms of what's going on out there at the moment. And uh, yeah, I thought I wanted to share that with you. So uh, I'll leave you guys to it. I'm gonna hit the gym right now. It's the first time I've been to the gym for too long, so I feel a bit guilty, but I think it's about time I get back on it. So uh, I'll tune in later and I'll catch you guys soon.